All right, 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 all right. I have never started off a video on this main screen before, but uh, it'll make sense in a second. In this video, I am getting rid of the NBA draft class completely. I am ruining every draft class ever so that there will never be a promising player to ever enter the NBA again. Crazy, right? So we're just going to see the league completely, I don't know, uh, fall into the hands of sadness. The catch here is that you people will be headlining it. I'm going to use this draft class every single year with a full 40 overall thing. And I'll scroll down real quick because I can't read all all 31 names but let me tell you how this is possible um in case you don't know for a couple videos now i have been using people's names to reply to the pinned tweet on my twitter at i'm click underscore and if you just so happen to do that which is about like four thousand or so people that have responded to that shout out to julius randall i added him as a 40 overall for no reason as well but basically if you want to be in a video at all just go respond your name to that tweet don't message me anywhere else just that one twitter tweet that's all you need to go to and you could quite possibly be i could have already scrolled over your name and you might have missed it or you might have seen it i don't know so uh, yeah, the last one here, my guy Arnov. All right, back to our home of my league. Today is July 6, 2020. This draft lottery does not matter at all. But nonetheless, who's going to be uh, completely, uh, what's a good word? I don't know, taken away of their town. No, that's a horrible way to put it, but whatever. Oh, of course, the Knicks get the first pick and they're not going to draft anybody. So here you go. We're not going to look at it. Uh, sorry, Hakeem Joseph, you got an injury concern, even though injuries are off. Here goes the NBA draft. The Knicks got 40 overall and Franklin Anderson. But yeah, obviously, like I said, this is going to be the same exact draft class every year. The main point is that they all suck. That is kind of sad. I, I kind of made you all suck but nonetheless you're gonna you're gonna be ruling the league because eventually like this guy right here this lebron guy who uh for the record just won the 2020 championship in this so uh you know what i mean i don't know if i'm jinxing it or i, I don't know i have no clue I, x2k he's gonna be out of here in a cool four or five six years or maybe next year i don't know eventually this league's gonna be ruled by franklin anderson and another franklin anderson and another harrison Orr. so this is gonna be weird for me to do because i'm not focusing on one person or one team or anything like that although i'd pick i did pick the lakers because they're like you know what I mean? Well, they just won the championship for God's sake. Although, wait, I, I think they just lost Anthony Davis for God's sake. You're telling me a AD went to the Knicks, of course. Yep, when did ring go to the Knicks? Yep, sounds right. And Matisse makes up for it. All right, yeah, sure. We'll focus on LeBron and his dominance. But yeah, for the most part, I'm really not focused on anything. We're just gonna see how badly the league gets. All right. Here's my file name for this trash draft with subs. I wonder who's gonna win rookie of the year. It'd probably be like Bull Bull or something. He definitely somehow didn't play in his first year. Well, actually, he didn't do that in real life either. Rudy Gobert, two-time all-star. I can't believe that this like whole this is gonna be like all four. 40 overalls in like three years. Okay, maybe a little bit longer than that. But yeah, like think about it. There's going to be no LaMelo ball to fill up this league in a second. Usually when we're doing career simulations, we get like 12, 13 years down the line. Like half of these is created players or like, you know what I mean? Like created draft class players. So uh, yeah, get ready. Maybe I just won't have anything to say in fast forward 10 years because that'll be fun. Or actually, no, I kind of want to see the, like the, the development of the league dying. Jordan McLaughlin's rookie of the year. Now he played in real life in that last season, but I guess in a game he didn't. Not one of these 40 overalls even play, but that makes perfect sense. D. Schrode. Oh, well, the Lakers went from the first seed to the eighth seed, and uh, Anthony Davis didn't make the playoffs either. Sadness, pain. Congratulations, Boston. Kemba Walker looks like he's ready for business. Well, technically, I mean, he did just kind of win the finals. You assumed you wouldn't see Lulu Adeng in the replies. Hey, hey, another year, another draft lottery, doesn't matter, and the Knicks won the first pick again. Really? So AD couldn't do nothing for you, huh? He's like, it's kind of like as if you drafted AD, you know? Like, you literally signed the guy rather than getting your first overall draft pick, and you still suck. Now they get another 40 overall. Matthew Pittman. Just pick, you know, pick from a hat, basically. I mean, they're all the same. It's funny how like some are centers, some of them are point guards, but they're all just 5'4". Hey, look, Randall went to the Hornets. Makes perfect sense. God awful meets God awful. How's the league going to shake up this year? Oh, Rudy Gobert left Donovan for the Thunder and De'Aaron Fox somehow made his way to Phoenix, but I don't know why he would want to do that. I, I don't know. What's better, Phoenix or Kings? Pro probably, yeah. I I even though the Kings have made the playoffs in the century, probably the Kings. I think I said in the last video, Phoenix picked Dragon Bender and Marquise Chris. Two busts when uh, DeMontis Sabonis is still on the board. Oh, right. I just put on the wrong draft class. Apologies. I was just trying to get my point across. Cross. Yusuf Nurkic, one time all star. I feel like he needs a nickname, but at the same time, I feel like he doesn't. He's just the all star guy. Now, D Schroed is cool, but no, Nurkic is 110% the all star guy. He's earned that nickname. Oh, yeah. Also, I mean, it hasn't been too long in the video for me to forget about this, but whatever. Shout out to Aiden Brennan, who said I was preparing a ritual sacrifice for the god Bull Bull when you reminded me to like. Thanks. Shout out to Aiden Brennan. You can like the videos if you like the videos. It's really that simple. Guyanis, Ricky Rabayo. Imagine. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit the same. Kenny. <laughs> I don't even got the energy in me to like really body it today though i'll try again later i guess i should have looked at this last year the all rookie teams are disgusting actually uh they're just gonna put a bunch of sixers and bucks and bulls because there's no rookies even playing that's what happens when rookies don't play uh yeah they just put like the first couple teams and put their rookies that they have the brooklyn nets won the championship led by that guy let's check out the amount of 20 point scores are because usually in my league like throughout the years like it starts to go up and up but i feel like it might still do that and then it's just gonna fall off badly screw it, let's do 30 then because there's 530 all right okay actually yeah
yeah, there's 45 people averaging 20 points right now. Sounds good. This guy might as well stay around until he's 50 because he would still average 20 in the league that's about to come about. If only he knew. Let's see. So Leftos is the number one ranked player in here and he averaged 2.2 points. 3 points, 0 rebounds, and 0 assists isn't the stat line you'd expect from a guy slotted for the lotto like Leftos Dorikas. He's the number one ranked player. Like, undoubtedly, he's number one. Hey, hey who's going to suck? The it's the Knicks again. Well, at least they had the first odds, but uh, yeah, the Pistons got it. Derek Flowers, ceiling, out of the league, floor, out of the league. Oh my, I've never seen this before for either. There is not one player in here who does not say out of the league. Replace Anthony Davis with John Collins. Sounds about right. Sounds like something that would have happened to LeBron in Cleveland. Well, technically, I mean, like, he lost Kyrie and then got, like, banged up IT. It's like the equivalent. That's one of the weirdest trades I've ever seen in my life, that whole Kyrie and Isaiah thing, because, like, the Cavs body that trade on paper so, so much just for IT to just, I, I don't even know. Pain. The man had one of the top five pain years in NBA history. When to see some, like, even more wild names in the All-Star game, but for now, Spencer Dinwiddie's here. But what did you expect from the MVP race? Marquise Bolden, Rookie of the Year. Sure, DeMar DeRozan, Sixth Man of the Year. Of course, the Spurs would reinvent Mo Bamba. The rookie team's becoming more and more of nobody year by year. There's only three rookies that were even in NBA rotations this year. Up, oh, LeBron willed his way to another championship. RJ Hunter retired. D. Schrode, one-time All-Star. I guess now would be a good time to say, if you watch all my videos and you uh, don't ever feel like subscribing, or you- Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 48 to- four, Wait, what? Team USA beat Team World 148 to 43. So, like, this guy is a quote-unquote rookie, but he, like, was already drafted years and years ago. I mean, he's a face scan, for God's sake. So, yeah, there's some players that aren't like that just hanging around here. But they're all on Team USA and just body the Team World. Back to what I was saying, I mean, if you watch all my videos and you're one of the 50 to 100,000 people that does not subscribe for some reason at all, then hey, you might as well. But in fairness, I can't really control you. Luca, Shamori Pons. So like no LaMelo Ball, none of those type of guys. No Mikey Williams. So instead we got like Zach Levine on the all NBA team. I saw DeAndre Aiden's up here. The Nuggets won the championship led by, uh, I don't know, the guy that used to be big body, but now it's kind of skinny. We'll probably end up big bodied again by the NBA season somehow. Solomon Hill retired. So are these same teams are still trashing in the draft lottery. I mean, the Wizards, okay, yeah, most of these teams are pretty trash. So like they're trash right now in real life for the most part. So uh, yeah, pretty accurate, except Houston. Houston's a sixth. Oh, wow. Sad. Out of the league, out of the league, out of the league, out of the league. AD signed with the Timberwolves now, and Donovan took his spot on the Knicks, and Towns went to the Raptors, and Jalen Brown went to the Lakers. By the way, these are my normal career simulation sliders, which are uh, pretty, honestly, they're, they're pretty decently realistic, as realistic as you really get in 2K. Andre, 2024, 2025, no insane differences yet, but it's still very, very early. Bull Bull, one-time All-Star. LeBron's old and still really good. Like, you know, almost 40 points a game good. Roke or Rock Drogic? Rookie of the year with literally nothing. So here we go. Here comes the end of like, you know, like the older players that are somehow still rookies. Yeah, no, here's this guy. Did not average anything. He just played in five games. That's your rookie of the year. Thomas Welsh, most, most improved player. This is a throwback. What video was this guy? I don't know. He's from like two months ago. He was, he was a big time meme for a minute. Shea Gildas Alexander, all NBA second team. Damian Lillard, finals MVP. Chris Bravo retired. Don't worry, you have like another 20 shots of this whole basketball thing. Houston, congrats. You won't be improving at all. Jason Tatum and Bam Adebayo team up on the Heat. And I guess one other important thing to keep track of is the uh, 90 overalls. There's currently 35 90 overalls. We want to include in John Collins right here. Bradley Beal, nine-time All-Star. Well, Giannis is still good. Do I need to tell you this every year? Yeah, no, not really. Roke Dragic, rookie of the year once again. The same exact guy. Oh, well, it's because he's on the Sixers and the Sixers are the first team, right? So yeah, it's not like it really matters. He's not playing. None of them are. Wiggins. And Giannis got a ring. Baddies Young retired. Deuces to that guy. Let me guess. The Rock are gonna suck again. The Kings suck. Yeah, basically. What I'm really waiting for is for like one dynasty to start that's gonna take over the league with nobody to really like come after it because you know what I mean? Like there's no draft picks. Ah, yes. Jake Noble, the second pick. And not Anthony Edwards, Ash Edwards. He's actually a subscriber. Shout out to you. Trey Young went to the Pelicans, but uh, Zion said, hell no, I'm not playing with you. I'm going to the Pistons. And Bradley Beal stupidly stays with the Wizards like always. By the way, the only reason why I made all these guys 18 years old instead of like 38 is because I, you know, rather just a lower chance of the league breaking because they'd just retire and then the league yeah you get it we actually want to make it like 20 years in the future to see what the hell's gonna happen Chamori Pons hey you know nothing too crazy just Trey Young averaging 45 a game and there goes Trey Micah Garza actually played basketball this year 77 games at that so yeah the Wizards are going through it we are starting to see the effects Joel Embiid being Joel Embiid I guess oh boy yeah yeah the league's about to end just about everybody retired including Contavious Caldwell Pope I mean yeah there's your Hall of Fame class for God's sake aka all these former thunder players and one guy who's 
from Oklahoma, right? Yeah, makes sense. Clifton. Oh, Cat's going to save the Wizards. The Wizards have 740 overalls on their team, which means that they're inevitably playing a couple of them. That's uh, that's kind of tough. Dennis Schroeder, all-star starter. Bobo. Lonzo was fifth in the MVP race. Oh, there goes Trey Young again. I guess I didn't even see him on the MVP race thing. I'm like desensitized to him averaging 40 plus. Roke Dragic. Casey Akpala. So because most of the league sucks right now, there's actually a lot more players averaging 30 than there were a couple years ago. There used to be five. Now there's like 15 or something like that. Yeah, 13. And same goes with 20. Yeah, all these good players that are still hanging around, there's 55 of them averaging 20 plus points. When I believe there was 35 a couple years back when I last mentioned it. DeJounte Murray, finals MVP. Jordan McRae retired. Of course, he made the Hall of Fame, even though there's no Hall of Fame thing here. But who still sucks? Uh, the, Bulls still, yeah, the Bulls have been up here pretty much every single year. Isn't that sad that teams are still trading picks even they know inevitably that every single year sucks? Or actually, they probably don't. They just don't know that the NBA is ending. They think like, oh yeah, maybe this is the year that finally the draft won't suck. I think Davis on the Minnesota now and they suck too. So what the hell is wrong with this guy and winning? Julius Randle has never left the Knicks. Yeah, this is truly... Oh, wait, yes, he did. And then he went back. Yeah, this is truly my nightmare. The Lakers have frightening Lakina, of course, the team that I'm controlling. It's only destiny. I also saw Tori and Prince viewing my Instagram story the other day and uh, he didn't really have the best news come out today from Woj. Tori, if you're a fan of the channel, just follow me, my guy. You don't got a ghost look at my Instagram story. Even Jalen Brown's averaging 30 a game. Marquise Bolden, one-time All-Star. Franklin. There's literally only four players available for most improved. What the hell? You tell me not five players improved? It's not even like rookie of the year. Like, like really? Well, that's kind of wild. So Troy Young is now the greatest player of all time. Although I don't think he's won a ring yet. Franklin. The ball is so, you can visibly see that this man is five foot four. Here's a look at the first team in the future of like, no like rookies and all that stuff. The Warriors starting a new dynasty led by Darius Garland. <laughs> Cody Zeller retired. Of course, he made the Hall of Fame in the ABA, which doesn't exist. Thunder, Suns, Wizards, Rockets, and Clippers suck, but uh, they're still going to suck probably because they can't get anybody. Nothing too crazy here. You know DeAndre Aiden's going to save Boston. We're probably in 2030 in a second. 10 years down the line and nothing, like I've been saying, nothing too like extravagant just yet. But I mean, you could see the fact that like making every player that's still good be even better, like 10 times better. Once there's like one NBA player left, uh, that's going to be pretty wild. Andrew Wiggins, one-time All-Star. RJ and Zion starting together. Wait, are they both on the Pistons? Oh, they teamed up again after Duke. Trey Young is like a four-time MVP, right? Let's just take a quick look here. Yep, four. He's averaged 40. He's going to become the all-time leading scorer, probably. I mean, yeah, he's averaged 40 in like four seasons. Edmund, Manuel Terry, DPOY, Emmanuel Terry, most improved player. Cam Reddish, All-NBA second team. I've never seen Cam Reddish do anything in any of these videos. Last time I ever saw Cam Reddish do anything is my 2K19 Knicks My League series. Ja also averaged 44 this season, which actually, uh, he averaged better numbers than Trey. All right, then. There's 21 players averaging 30 and 53 averaging 40, uh, 20. Why, why did I just say 40? Mitchell Robinson, finals MVP of the Los Angeles Lakers, aka our team. 40-year-old Gordon Hayward retired. And Kyrie would definitely play for the Jazz. Dion Waiters. Hey, who's headed with me to the Nikola Vucevic Hall of Fame ceremony? Fred Levingston, number one ranked player. No significant strengths. Very poor shooter. Continually gets beat off the dribble. Sounds like a great number one ranked player. Here's the teams that suck and drafted players that also suck. Nick signed shooting guard James Harden to one year $15 million deal. 40 overall. Wait, no. 40 a year old. 76 overall. So the Knicks only have one, two, three, four, five, six, six players that are, uh, you know, like 70 plus. Frank Holdman Strong stole Danny Green's number. That's Danny Green, fellow Long Island native. Shea, one-time All-Star. Weren't you on the All-NBA team? I don't know. Ja Moran, a cool 49 a game. Leftos. Andre Drummond, sixth man of the year. Giannis, DPOY, and mo most in most improved player. What? How is this improving? They just ran out of players to get most improved. It's not like Colin Sexton averaged 42. What the hell? The game is crying for help right now. Colin Sexton, All-NBA second team. Jalen Brown, finals MVP. The Lakers are still like a dynasty in this league. James Harden retired. Julius Randle retired. Hall of Fame, of course, he made the... I believe I just counted that there's 2990 overalls, which I'm not mistaken, that went down a lot from the other time that I counted it. I don't know. I can't remember that number, honestly. Colin Sexton, all-star starter. Lakers are like literally a, a god team. They're 43 and 5. And this is only with two 90s. Mavericks somehow still have their big three of sorts. But uh, Porzingis is 36. Doncic is 32. Yeah, we're starting to reach the end of the line here for them. Oh, yes, of course. Ben Simmons, 40 points eight rebounds and seven assists a game. You know it's bad when even Ben Simmons isn't passing that much anymore. Kurt, Joel Embiid, sixth man of the year. How did Giannis just win most improved play? What is going on? The league is breaking. Cam Reddish is on the first team. William Floyd, All-NBA third team. And uh, Jason Tatum wins a ring, averaging 40 a game in a seven-game final series. Pretty entertaining.
Manning, you know, Townsend Fultz, Tatum and Adebayo, Chris Middleton and Tim Hardaway Jr. retired. Don't know why I just at, like announced them collectively. Of course, he made the Hall of Fame. The Thunder have been a really down bad this entire thing. Well, Trey Young left the Pelicans. The book is a new Damian Lillard, I guess. Well, in fairness, he kind of is, but except for the Suns in real life. The Suns suck. At least the Trailblazers are like, all right. Frank Nielakina is averaging 11 points a game. This is season number 13, to be clear. The Celtics are the best team in the power rankings, and they just have, uh, oh my, yeah, oh, well, yeah, they have Mo Bamba, DeAndre Aiden, but that's about it. Oh, and D. Schroed, of course. Marcus Smart's still around after all these years. But uh, yeah, they even have Roka Dragic in their team, or their rotation, I should say. Oh, yeah, there we go. Daniel Gafford, one time all star. It took 13 years, but uh, pretty crazy. That, yeah, 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 that's out of the ordinary, all right? Most improved player, it's literally just Wesley Lyles and Julius Randle. So I guess somehow Giannis is going to win it again. I don't know. How are the Lakers 45 and 5? Like, how is this team that good? Mitchell Robinson, Jalen Brown, Frank Nilekinia, Emmanuel. Okay, yeah, sure. I, I guess. Only the Knicks would have kept literally those two players and then somehow got Jalen Brown. The Rising Stars game was 65 to 43. Julius Randle had 12 points in a Joel Fisher had 23 rebounds. Now, yeah, I don't even know. Rock Dragic had 32 rebounds. So there's just a couple players that get a bunch of rebounds and that's about it. Those are the elite players. Everybody still misses every shot. Ben Simmons being Ben Simmons. Rock Dragic. Now, I know it's a different Rock Dragic every year, but he has to be the best rookie. I mean, he's averaging an astounding 4.6 points per game. Lori Markin in six men of the year. Giannis DPOI and Wesley Lyles, most improved. Daniel Gafford, all NBA first team. Yeah, so the Lakers were 75 and seven. Whatever the hell is going on? Oh, they lost anyways. And Giannis won another championship. Marcus Smart retired. We know who's more important. D. Schroed retired. Of course, he made the Hall of Fame. The only person to make the Hall of Fame. Which, uh, how the hell is that possible if Jalen Brown retired? The guy averaged 30 in like every other... I don't know. I don't know. Literally on the road to trash. Let's check about all the 90 overalls now. It's been a minute. There is 22 90 overalls. I believe it went down by like 10 from the last time I counted it, which is, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Normally in 2K, it'd be up to like 100 by now. But no, no promise here. As uh, now that Jalen Brown's gone, we're not going 75 wins again. So uh, season number 14. Cam Reddish, how are you a one-time All-Star? Rodney. And how are the Lakers still so good? Uh, John Moran averaged 54 points. Right, right. That makes sense. I mean, I guess it does. Some weird stuff is happening right now. 54 points in like season number 14 of this simulation. Rashid Chambers, rookie of the year. Wait, whoa. Okay, 60 overall. Oh, he must have just not played in one of the past. Yeah, he was drafted in 2025. Lori, Mo Bamba, Rodney. Wait, I just saw another team go 72 and 10. So hold up. This must mean Bobo, all NBA 13. But no, this must mean. Yeah, there is three teams in the West with 70 wins, one in the East. So that like, the, yeah. The Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards have nobody but 40 overalls. And they lost 82 games. We are officially seeing the turn of all this BS. Orlando Magic have also joined that boat. The Cleveland Cavaliers, I would assume, yeah, they've also joined that boat. Same with Toronto. Uh, New York has just Jabari Parker and he couldn't even average 24 points per game. Phoenix is the only team in the West that's that awful, but uh, they even have Darius Baisley and Kevin Porter Jr. And they, yeah, they suck royally. So wait, where is Memphis? Memphis is, uh, Memphis. okay, Memphis is 72 and 10. Yeah, Jaws doing just fine. Yeah, so the Rockets were in the playoffs and have a 43 overall starting power forward. The Nets were in the playoffs and have a 40 overall starting point guard. And the Hornets have a 40 overall starting point guard. And that's, they're actually pretty good. They're 15 games above the Nets. Yep, um, the, the league's starting to die. So uh, the Heat win the finals. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Yusuf Nurkic retired. Sadness. Let's see, how many of these 40 overalls are retired? Oh my God, yeah, yeah. That, that's all 40 overalls. And there's still a lot more to go for sure because we had to fill... I mean, the draft class, I believe, is 150 people. So uh, yeah, Steve Kerr retired. He couldn't take... Oh yeah, he coached the 0-82 Wizards. Why would you do that to yourself? Imagine how frustrated that man had to have been. Julius Randle went first overall, finally. And yeah, I actually left him at six foot eight, and uh, he still sucks. Not once have we ever seen a Julius Randle do anything, I believe. I'm so excited. Julius Randle is going to play for the Pistons. Great pick. Said nobody ever. Even when he is good or a lot better than what he is right now, which isn't much better. Mitchell Robinson, 91 overall. OG is here. Okay, I see why we're that nice then if we somehow pulled off getting OG. All of our players that are great, there were like 32, 33 plus. So uh, yeah, Tyler Harrow was the only good player on the Raptors. John Collins for the Kings. Taco for the Magic. So far, I've counted seven teams. Uh, and I was about to be eight, but Donovan Mitchell Mitchell's here for the Spurs and Bruno Fernando. So yeah, I would say about seven teams have absolutely no players, but 40 overalls. Only 15 years of no draft classes and the league starts to completely just fall apart. Is that surprising? I don't know. You tell me. Marvin Bagley, 44 points and 33 rebounds a game. This is very reminiscent of what happened in the, you know, the, the greatest draft classes of all time video. Let's see how crazy this can get. Cause I was kind of disappointed that that only lasted about one to two seasons in that one. Jabari, Miles Turner, Joseph Barker. 
Cam Reddish is a consistent All NBA first team guy. Then you got uh, all these other guys that it's, you know stick around here, like Darius Baisley. Lakers still 75 and seven. And will they win another ring? Nope. It's going to uh, Miami. Bam on a bio. Bam and Jason Tatum have taken over the league. As much as I want to joke around and just say Kelly Oubre retired and just move on, which honestly that's a pretty big retirement in this league. Uh, yeah, the Greek guy retired. Jaleel Okafor. Well, yeah, yeah, he's an 81. I mean that's pretty. Uh, you know, what I mean pristine in this league. OG's out of here. That's our new starting small forward who uh, is now out of here. Cam Reddish, All NBA first team guy, is out of here. Uh, that's kind of big if you don't know what the All NBA first team is. Cam Reddish, NBA Hall of Famer. I don't think Ingram just retired, but it's probably a glitch. I don't know. The Raptors are still utterly awful. Wizards fans got to be somewhere drowning themselves right now because uh, I mean fourth. You guys won zero games. Speaking of that, how many games you guys win this season? Two games for the Warriors. So Steve Kerr couldn't have went right either way that he stood. And four for the Wizards and uh, a bunch more teams that had no not less than 20 wins. Nate Bowman, grass and Trent Doyle, wherever you are, and Harrison Orr, you guys were top five picks. Probably soon to be cut. Actually, well, no, with the way the league's going, yeah, no, you're gonna be on teams for a minute. Shea and Mo Bamba to the Rockets and Celtics. Chris Stops let the, left the Mavericks after all these years. And Donovan's been one hell of a journey, man. Look at all these teams. Now is where we're getting to the fun part. So, uh, yeah, season number 16. I remember to look this season at the whole points per game thing. Bruno Fernando, one-time All-Star. Romeo Langford, one-time All-Star. And Jackson Hayes, All-Star starter. Marvin Bagley's averaging, wait, so he's averaging, okay, yeah, Zion's also averaging 33 rebounds a game. We have, uh, what is it? Six players averaging 40 points. Three players averaging 40 rebounds, including Maurice Barrett. And you miss shots, there's more rebounds. It's really that simple. Marvin Bagley, MVP once again. Here's the first team with 83 overall, John Collins. I've been seeing Rui on these All-NBA teams every single year. He's got a lot nicer. Sekou, All-NBA third team. There are now 30 players that average 20 points a game, but out of those 30, 12 average 30 and 5 average 40. This is the league falling into the hands of like 12 people. The Heat win another championship because Jason Tatum and Bam Adebayo are still together. As Bam grabbed 30 rebounds and Tatum grabbed absolutely nothing but 36 points. Literally nothing. At a certain point, once the league is like dead dead, I'm going to start watching some of those Game 7 final series because yeah, that should be interesting. Frank Nielakina retired. Surprised Lonzo didn't make the Hall of Fame. Hey, 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 the Spurs and Pistons still trash. Ash Edwards, first pick in the draft. Horrible pick by San Antonio. Yeah, I'm not finishing that sentence. Harrison Orr. One with free agency is looking like this year. Just 190 overall player, and that's Kobe White. And very little amount of 80s. About like eight of them, if I'm just estimating correctly. Yep. Even us Lakers have 260 overalls in the starting lineup now. We've been like a god team for all these years. Taylor Horton Tucker, one-time All-Star. Luka is averaging 56 and 21 a game. Yeah. Um. You know what's also bad when Luka's averaging five assists, and he's 37. But then again, Luka plays now like he's 37. Luka Doncic, I told you the numbers like five seconds ago. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good at the whole basketball thing. Drogic is still a dominant rookie. Aiden Chandler, six man of the year. Aiden Anderson, 81 and one coach of the year. There are five teams with less than 10 wins, about one more with less than 20. And uh, yes, of course, it's the Heat with Jason Tatum, Nikki. Oh my, yeah, they have a super team. This team will be fine in a regular league. Actually, well, Tatum's an 81 now. He's kind of old. But uh, yeah, they won 81 games with that team. That's how insane this league is. And they won another championship. Yep, this is the dynasty I was waiting for. Miami. There you go. And they keep playing the Grizzlies every year because Ja is God. Jason Tatum retired. DeAndre Aiden retired. And uh, the God Daniel Gafford. Might have glitched him a year early, but a uh, Bull Bull Hall of Fame. We're obviously all hitting up his ceremony. Can't wait for that one. Leftos, you've been a bust every year, but hey, might as well try for what is this, year number 17. Soon there will be no 90s and soon there will be no 80s. As now Colin Sexton is the only 90 in his whole entire free agency. Kobe White is the highest rate. Oh my God. Yeah, no, I'm not bugging. Uh, this is it. For a second, I thought I was, I was, yeah, yeah, no. Kobe White, John ja Moran, Bam Adebayo are the only 90 overall players. Trey Young averaged 51 last season. Speaking of that, we had two players average 50. The two guys that got traded for each other a good, like, 20 years ago. Two with 40, 14 with 30, and 21 players with 20, but uh, a good, like, five or six of them retired. I mean, Bo Bulls averaging 35 and 19 a game at a 73 overall. That's unheard of. So, things are starting to ramp up. Season number 30. I, I can't even say things are starting to ramp up. I've been sitting here. I might edit this really, really nicely to the point where you're here in like 10 minutes, but or 20 even. But yeah, I've been sitting here for like four hours. The Heat replaced Ben Sims with a 40 overall. That's just what happens when uh, things are like how they are right now. They only have three guys at a 78 plus and everybody else is a 40. And this is the team that just won all those games. Go, go, all-star starter. And this is where things are getting crazy. So now even one of the subscribers is an all-star. Yeah, the league is breaking more and more day by day. And also, I just went to go check the 90 overalls. Bam out of bios out of here. And Trey Young's out of here. And Luca's out of here. And Colin Sexton. Oh, okay, not Ben Simmons. Literally 
everybody is retiring. The league is ending. It's official. John Morant, 48 and 7 a game. Drogic the God. Oh, Aiden Chandler. Yeah, like I said, he's a 69 overall and he's an all star and all that cool stuff. Bam. Logan Schmidt, 81 and 1. Cedric Bass, drafted in 2025, is an all NBA first teamer. There's 18 people averaging 20 points per game. Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons, championship at 41 years old, it just said. He beats Bull Bull, 74 overall, averaging. He had 54 in this last game. Ben Simmons retired. Luka Doncic retired. Colin Sexton retired. Troy Young retired. Rui retired. Zion retired. Yup. The league is, uh, it's, it's, it's just about over. Why does Bam have Hall of Fame Giants like? You're not that, I mean, you're 6'9". You're, you're all right. Micah Garza, the Wizards savior, quote unquote, because it'll never happen at this rate. Speaking of that, 4-78 for two teams. Four teams with under 10 wins. Yeah, you get it at this point. There's like a couple teams with under 20, a couple teams with under 10. Most of the teams have like one okay player. The teams that have like three or two, yeah, they're bugging out right now. Like Marvin Bagley and Tayden Horton Tucker with a bunch of 40s and 50s won um, 77 games. Bam Adebayo and Maurice Bar... Bar wow, I can't say Barrett, like RJ. 172 and 10, like Michael Jordan and what was that, like 95? Jackson Hayes is the best player in free agency and there's only four 80s and they're all 38 plus and all centers. Mitchell Robinson's 40 years old at an 84 overall. The Lakers have fallen apart, but they're still 62 and 20 from last year at least. Season number 19, Jarrett Culver's at starting point guard at a 59 overall. It's actually disappointing. Like how the hell are you a 59 overall, Jarrett? You couldn't have stood like a 70. You fell off that badly. Actually never really fell off on either there is now not one not two not three not four but five subscribe why did i just do that like i was lebron in 2010 yeah five subscribers are in the all-star game so shout out to you people landry shaman is a one-time all-star it only took 20 years and bo bull's still here even old and probably like a 68 overall as kobe white's averaging 43 bam's averaging 41 and 24 at 41 years old he's averaging as many points as his age mitchell robinson still even at 40 years old and one of the best players in the league set to hell with scoring I'm just going to grab 43 rebounds. Kobe White MVP averaging more rebounds and assists because who was there to pass to? Bull Bull, of course. Right, right. Six man of the year. He had to get it eventually, which uh, this might be his first. Yup. Took 19 years and uh, the whole league falling apart. How are you a six man bull? All right, you're a 71. Mo Bamba, Danny Mayo, all NBA first team. Camden Rose, all NBA third team twice. He's a 40 overall averaging nine points on one side and an eight on the other. Just eight players are averaging 20 points now. Bull Bull being the last of them. Two at 40 and just one with 30. And it's Bam, who literally was 0.1 off of 40. But you know, around here we round up. So yeah, three with 40. RJ is still holding in strong. Not a lot of trash teams anymore. Just a couple with, uh, you know, I mean, a couple teams with like double digit wins, but like just barely because everybody sucks. So uh, everyone's, you know, I mean, someone's got to win the game. The Heat still winning rings. He went out Jason Tatum and everybody else over Bull Bull at that, who's averaging, I mean, 41. One thing I have not checked is uh, the game highs for, oh my God, Bull Bull has put up 75 in a game before G. Jesus Christ. If Ja has put up 76 in a game this season, you know what? I'm not even going to check it for now. I'm going to leave the NBA records until the end because uh, that's going to be scary. Nope, I couldn't do it. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot. Nope. We have to talk about this now. Luka Doncic put up 96 points in a game. 96. Do you hear me? We have never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. I, I have no, I mean, obviously I have words because I just said it, but yeah. And on top of that, Devin Booker has put up 92 and uh, they have also the next two spots as well. Kevin Borders made 90. Look, look, we're going to stop there for now because I have a feeling that this 96 might even be broken with how the things are going right now. I mean, this is only three years or two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, Luca did that. So, uh, okay. Jesus. Bam Adebayo retired. Mitchell Robinson retired. Marvin Bagley retired. Mohamed Bamba retired. Julius Randle retired. One of his many aliases. Well, no, the same alias, just multiple clones. Oh, wait. Ja Morant retired. Uh, didn't see that one. I, unless I said it subconscious. Oh my God, he put up 85 in a game. I didn't mean to check that, but yeah, I did. I mean, we'll never be able to see some stuff like this when the league's this inflated. So like Kevin Porter Jr. has put up 68 in a game. Marvin Bagley has put up 80 in a game. Bam's put up 68, which was this season at 41 years old. So considering I just said that, someone's going to do something like 90 because it's it's got to happen. All right. There's your Hall of Fame people. Of course, Kevin Porter made it for God's sake. Did you see his stats? And Ja averaged almost 40 for his career, which is the most ever by far. Unless someone else did more. Or probably actually yeah, probably Trey. Everybody sucks, but that's okay, I guess. Free agency just Jackson Hayes, the only 80 and a couple 70s who we don't really care. I mean, yeah, we do care about them at this point. They're pretty valuable. I want to see how much money they get. Jackson Hayes got a one-year 40 million deal. They don't even care if the guy's a 70 overall. Yeah. Lakers are 
officially gutted. Kobe White is about to bug out this season. He is the only player left that is elite. It's just him and Jackson Hayes. Kobe White, it is your time to shine. You have a career high of 75 so far, which I'm not surprised at at all. Actually, surprised it's maybe not even higher because you've had seasons like this one right here. Kobe, it is your time to shine. RJ is also around. And Bo Bo. Now, you might do some too, but I mean, you could have done any. You're a 68. Nonetheless, season number 20. This is what happens. Think about this. I simulate 20 seasons like most of the time when I do career simulations. And the league is normally perfectly fine, if not incredibly inflated and like even more 90s than it is in the modern day. But if there was never an NBA draft, then this is what we end up with. Kobe White, Jackson Hayes, and Maurice Barrett. So I'm not leaving my Lakers control, but uh, what team is Kobe on? He's on the Pacers. All right, good to know. Because that team should not lose. Look at the scores of these games. We haven't even checked the rebounds records yet, but I will save that one for the end. Team Kobe and Team Colton. I wonder what the overall difference is there as Bull Bull is the first pick in the draft, of course. Wow, I can't believe he's still around. Out of all players, of course, our number one meme guy, Bull Bull, is still here. Just Kobe White and Bull Bull are averaging 20 plus points now. That is it. We have watched this league completely disintegrate. This is where we stand now. It's actually, it, it kind of feels worth it at this point. I've been sitting here for a very long time watching this league die, and uh, it, it feels like it's worth it that it's Bull Bull still up and around. Kobe White, of course, the MVP with 35 and 17 a game. Logan Schmidt, 77 and 5 record. Kobe, RJ Barrett, Derek Flowers, Cedric Bass, and Maurice Barrett. Kobe says, this is my last season. I'm going to retire. I gotta find Bull Bull. He didn't even make one of the teams, but his Clippers are the first seed, so uh, they're probably gonna meet up against each other. And Bull Bull finally, I feel like Bull Bull doesn't even have a ring yet. Okay, he has one, but I would assume he didn't lead the team to this one. So uh, yeah, Bull Bull is finally trying to get that first ring ever that he's leading the team with. And this is his last season. He's 40 years old. Come on, Bull. We all rooting for you. He wins second round. Oh my God. It's the Pacers versus Clippers. I got to take control. I'm going with the Clippers, the other LA team. It's strictly Bull Bull and Colton Thorne, who is actually the other all-star captain versus Kobe White and Jake Noble. Now it's not even, but I mean, it's even because my God, Bull Bull. He's a 68 overall and he's still doing all this. It doesn't make sense. How are you the second player averaging 20 in your 68? Oh, and he's against one of the many Julius Randle clones. This should be light work. Let's let's see. Can we actually get into a game here? The first game of the video. I got to be careful that uh, the score because the score is going to be low. It's very, very close. Okay. You know what? It's close enough. It's Clippers ball right now at the line. Yeah. Look at the no bull fouled out. Oh God. This is what I'm talking about though. Julius Randle, if you did not just see is still six foot eight and he still sucks. How do you average 20? How, you're playing everybody that's five foot and you, 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 oh my God, Julius. Kobe's not even in the game either. Julius, if you don't do something right here, I'm gonna be disappointed, my guy. And I'm not even rooting for you. I want the Clippers to win. I want Bull to get a ring. Look at this team. Noble corner green. Oh my God. This is incredible. It is a full 5-4. This is like a fourth grade CYO game. And Bull Bull is like the, uh, he's like literally the taco. It's like when, ta it's like tacos high school highlights. Yeah, of course, Kobe, you're shooting 10 for 15. I mean, what, what the hell? How are you going to miss any shots? Kobe fouled out too? Oh my God. This is like the most unentertained entertain I've ever been in my life. Oh my God. Here we go. Clippers down to O'Connor. O'Connor in the post. He's going to, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Pass it back out to Dorica's. Dorica's over to Justice, over to Baxter in the post. If he scores on Julius, I will be, I will be astonished. Oh, here we go. Pass. Uh, no, just pass one more time. There you go. Justice for three. That is off. Rebounded by, oh no, the Pacers get it. And that is going to do it. The Pacers win game. I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't believe my eyes. Look at Randall. He literally looks like the father. How do you have seven points on three for 14 and you're six, eight? Look, I'm so happy I made him still stay six, eight, just to show how trash he is. I almost feel like this should be the finale season, but at least in our hearts, it'll feel like it because Bull Bull and Kobe White are both going to be out of here, right? Yeah, Kobe's out of here. I think I already checked that though. It is the fourth quarter once again. Oh God, here we go. These games can't get much closer than this. There is a lot of subscribers in this game. Thorn and Noble over here missing shots like every other player. And it is 66, 69 with 53 seconds left. Look, man, I'm trying to watch these five foot four guys go to work real quick. Kobe and Bull Bull are in the game. Justice with the ball. Justice, just throw it down the ball real quick. Come on, he's got positioning. Yes, yes, just bounce it down to him. There you go. Bull Bull in the post. Bull Bull setting up on Julius. Bull Bull. No, put it back up. Put it back up. There you go, Bull. Oh, this is all the marbles right here. He's a 68 overall body in Julius Randle like that because Julius is a 40 for God's sake. Just one more stop, Bull. You're a beast. You're seven foot two. Remember that. Randall over to Harper. If you stood there this whole time until this, it was definitely worth it. I would bet that there was probably some people that got bored and then go, there goes Kobe White. But it was definitely worth it for me because what the hell? We will never see something like this again. Neither team knows how to play defense. So let's give it a Bull Bull real quick. Right, right. Okay. Justice with the ball. Just look. Bull Bull's open right there. Yes. Yeah, set the screen. Pick and pop real quick. Bull Bull has Kobe on him. No, you threw 
it to Kobe. Okay, bowl with the ball. Bowl in the post against Kobe. Oh, God. Back out to Justice. Back out to Dorikas. O'Connor with the ball. Connor puts up the shot. He hits it. Four seconds left. Can we just get some free throws over with real quick? Like, just, just a slowest. Re oh, my God. They won. Bowl, bowl had 25. Kobe White had 26. Yeah, you know, back and forth type of game. You know, intense. 2-0. And the Pacers are going to win another game. They are bodying us in this game. And yes, it's us because, I mean, we got a rep for LA. You know, even though I'm not from LA, I've been controlling the Lakers for the past 20 years. Kobe White, 24 or 54 and 20. End game four. Yep. Kobe White is going to go out on top. Look at his free throw routine. Oh my God. He is the Bill Cartwright. He has the Bill Cartwright free throw routine. He's five foot four. Oh my God. Oh wait, I get to shoot with Bo Bo. His last shot of his career. I can't mess this up. Go in the post against Kobe. Kobe drop step. Give me these. Thank you. I couldn't even force up a three. I had to end it off on the right, on the right note for Bo Bo. Even though he's not going to go out with his own ring. It's all good. It's fine, Bo. You did well. You tried. Is that Dwayne Bacon? What the? Dwayne Bacon's still in the league? Well, no one of the Pacers won. They got Dwayne Bacon. I mean, he's not Julius Randle trash. He's like six foot eight and like good, kind of. Julius Randle with his children. Bo Bo, 28 and 15 on eight for 25 shooting in his last game. Yeah, what did he shoot for the season? I mean, 41% isn't that bad for a 68 overall, but in this type of league, okay, maybe a little bit. Well, of course, Kobe was a finals MVP. Do I need to tell you that much? 37 and 15 a game for him. So is Leftos Dorica is going to be the best player in the league now? RJ Barrett's a shooter, really? Oh, Bobo went back on his decision. He didn't retire yet. It's just Kobe. Yo, Bobo is about to be the king of the league. Why does it say he's in the Hall of Fame again? I did not see that man just retire. Yeah, he's still here. Bowl, it is officially your time to dominate the league. There is nobody in your path. Good luck to Kobe, though. Good job. Although you couldn't put up like 90 points this season. All right. So the teams that were trashed like 80 years ago, yeah, the Thunder. Thunder were one of them, I literally said. Wizards, of course. You guys were awful. Celtics, uh, you had Aiden for a little while and obviously Tatum and all those guys and Marcus Smart. Yeah, for the most part, a lot of those teams were have been trashed consistently this whole entire time. I forgot that Jackson Hayes is still even in the league, but uh, yeah, he didn't do anything. He didn't average nothing close to 20 points, but you would think, I mean, he would get kind. I mean, he's kind of just like Mitchell Robinson, though. Oh, the Clippers signed RJ. We got a dynamic duo, RJ Barrett and Bo Bo, the 40-year-old. Uh, I don't even know what the hell to call him. They have a combined age of 80. Imagine a dynamic duo with a combined age of 80. Season number 21, Dennis Rodman's son, D. We are the highest team in the league in power rankings, and uh, now the best overall player in the league is obviously Jackson Hayes, right? Yup. Who's going to win MVP now that Kobe's gone? He was far and away the best player. Is it going to be Bull? He didn't make an All-NBA team last year, so I don't even know who the hell it's going to be. Team Jackson and Team Danny Mayo. Bull Bull isn't even an All- Oh, no, he's off the All-Star bench, but all right. But the Clippers are- Wait, hold on. The Clippers are 48-1. and one. I guess we don't care if Bull Bull's up here. So Jackson Hayes is going to win MVP, not even averaging 10 points. That's just fantastic. So wait. Yeah, Bull Bull and RJ Barrett are the only two players averaging 20 points, and they're on the same team. They're just facilitating to each other. Few of them are even trying to retire yet. See, most points in the game this season is RJ's 38. That's it. The league is officially like broken, 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 broken. We only have one, like two games with 100 points scored in this entire month. And we have two of the best scores in the league. Jackson Hayes, MVP, averaging 9.3 points per game. Cedric Bass, Danny Mayo, Jackson Hayes again, DPOY. And Nikola Vucevic, the coach of the year for our Clippers team. So it should be without a doubt that, uh, you know, RJ Barrett, there you go. Uh, obviously, Bo Bo isn't here because for some reason they don't like him. But it should be without a doubt that we win the finals, right? Right. Okay, well, that's the Lakers. They're out of here. Yeah, they've never been that, that good since, like, you know, whatever his name is left. Maurice Barrett versus Bo Bo. Okay. Do we want to see these games? Uh, yeah, no, not really. We've won in most of what we... I mean, we've won in all of them, obviously. We're up 3-0. Can okay, Bo Bo finally close this out for a ring? Oh, no, we actually lost that game, but it was so low of a scoring game that I didn't even think it was over. Once again, let's try this. Can Bo Bo finally close it out for a ring? I mean, more importantly, RJ doesn't even have a ring at all. My God. He even played on that Pistons team with Zion and didn't get a ring. Hooray. Bo Bo, 35 points. RJ shot 5 for 20, but I guess we don't really care. I get to shoot free throws with this guy? All right, great. Oh, God, here we go. The Bill Car... Oh, he doesn't even have it. Okay, great. Look at the arc on this man's shot. Oh, I just greened it. Oh, my God. I greened it with like a 40 overall guy. Hold on, let me get one more of those. Okay, thank you very much. Full court press, Bo. No, no, don't let up nothing. You've been, they've, they've been holding you back from the ring for like 13 years. Actually, longer. Bo, block that Julius Randle shot. Hell no. Come on, Julius. That was going to be easy like that. Bo knew this was going straight out of bounds. Hell no. That man blocked it with his forearm, basically. Jason Kidd's still a coach. Vucevic's tall body self. He's taller than all of his bench players. Oh, look at RJ. 
I need one more shot for Bobo. They're running him at point guard. Come on, Bo. We got to get this one more. Bo, this could be the last game of your career. You never know. Bobo, all the way to the basket. Give me one last shot. 37 points in this game, and that is going to do it. Bobo, the NBA champion. Well, two times, but, you know, first time leading his own team. Bobo, finals MVP, of course. These guys don't even fit into the screen. Oh, my God. Look at them. They couldn't even, like, pan down a little bit for these short people. Look at our... Whoa, JD Early. As great as some of these teams were, I don't think a team ever went 82 and 0. A Bow Bow Finals MVP as we lost just two total games on the season, one in the playoffs and one in the regular season. Bow Bow has retired from the NBA. RJ Barrett has also retired from the NBA. And that, with also Jackson Hayes retiring from the NBA, is it. No way in hell is the NBA anywhere near saving at this point. This is the official, not end of the video, but the end of the NBA. Now we'll spectate for a little bit and see what the hell's going to happen because, uh, yeah, things are about to get ugly. Even Maurice Barrett retired. And this is the guy who we just played in the finals that's actually kind of good. Cedric Bass, multiple first, all, all first team, whatever the hell. Yeah, everybody's gone. Bull Bull, RJ Barrett, and Jackson Hayes make the Hall of Fame. We'll check up on some records and stuff and you know, in the future, obviously. Trailblazers, Wizards, and Wizards is the most consistently horrible team. Thunder, you're up there as well. Tony Mills and Brian Henry. So now that a couple of those guys retired, like even, you know I mean? Some of the tra like good trash players retired. Who the hell is even good? Jake Noble with the Heat. It's just Colton Thorne, Jake Noble, and Danny Mayo. Nobody else is even a 70 overall. Yeah, we're going to give this like a good three years and see what the hell happens. So, as Colton Thorne and Julius Randle looking to take over the league, season number 22. And on top of the couple of 70 overalls, there are just five players that are above 60. That is it. None of them are teamed up, though. So, who the hell will prevail? Probably one of these 70s, right? I don't know. League over. How does it feel? Imagine the NBA just ended tomorrow. Team Franklin and Team Colton. Colton's got to be somewhere happy as hell right now, as he's number one in the MVP race averaging six points and 34 rebounds is anyone even averaging 10 points yep franklin anderson 42 overall shooting 32 percent and the other franklin anderson this, this guy must have had some good genes league leader in points this season is 30 from myers but uh, that's not much less than what rj had last year honestly colton thorne most valuable player with six points and 31 rebounds a game and dpoy oh, and by the way this guy is five foot four for the record so he's averaging 31 rebounds at five foot four jerry powell coach of the year Obviously, um, yeah, you know, these all-NBA teams aren't really the prettiest at this point. Well, for the playoffs, Clippers lose to the Kings, and the Kings go up 3-0 in the finals. So who's on the Kings even? They got Conti, a 45 overall guy leading them. Sacramento Kings going to win this ring. In the playoffs, there were only, uh, let me just say, uh, what is this, like uh, like 11 players that averaged 10 points. Barely at that. When it comes to the standings, uh, they're pretty regular now, honestly. We got a bunch of teams that are kind of trash, but like that's really, yeah, I mean, it's like a good six teams that didn't win 20 games. That's it. This team has literally just nothing but 50 and 40 overalls and won 74 games. This team that won the ring had a 72 overall and that was about it. Our team of the MVP and he wasn't even that good. He averaged like eight points. His career high is 17 points for Christ's sake. He's been in the league. I mean, he's 38 years old. Colton Thorne retires. The MVP. But honestly, whoever the hell is his predecessor is going to be just as weirdly bad but good as him. And he had 26 badges. What the hell? Yeah, well, that's actually, that's interesting. That's an interesting part. He de developed badges despite being really bad. He had the most badges at anybody though nobody else is even close i contemplated stopping the league right then and there but now that colton retired and i saw that he had 26 badges and he was actually pretty good how about a league with no 70s this is the definition of league over you don't even got a jr smith type of player i don't know why it's just said jr smith but sure comparison works with me raptors are number one in the power records and then we get a player above 53 overall in their starting lineup this should be interesting this is the official last season i can hype it up as so 2042 2043 third or 23 years in here's a look at the final all-star team a lot of subscribers in here and uh, in the starters the bench all that type of stuff a lot of duplicates too because i mean that's literally all the league is danny mayo is number one in the mvp race the only guy even above a 60 overall in here ryan mann 45 overall is shooting 27 shots a game 22 percent averaging the most points in the league at 17 he had 36 in a game this season all very interesting stuff for a league that is completely over and well as danny mayo wins the mvp and lucas lucas had 77 wins uh, of course, someone had to make an appearance. Bol Bol had a whole video long appearance and Lucas Lucas pops up at the end. The teams, who the hell really cares? is a bunch of random people. Lakers and Clippers out here, the two teams I was controlling. The Grizzlies won the championship led by Danny Mayo. I guess still a dominant force or whatever the hell. And then we've got enough of, a, enough of a grasp of what the hell would happen. Both A, the road to how the NBA would break if there was no draft class and B, how broken it would be. The final finals game of the video is 52 to 65. That is officially 
going to do it. I don't got nobody to announce the retirement of, but uh, the whole league is retiring now, forcefully. Now, one Hall of Fame appearance. And well, uh, I'm very, very excited because we did see already this right here that Luca came very, very close to beating Wilt's 100, literally two threes away, which he probably could have easily beat. They probably subbed him out for a lot of this game. Kevin Porter Jr., 19 threes. Same with Luca. Luca also had 28 free throws made. Bruno Fernand. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Bruno Fernando had 86 rebounds in a game. And uh, not many people, I mean, like him and Maurice Barrett were neck and neck all up here. And I think Maurice Barrett was 5'4". Maurice Barrett, you you got. In the playoffs, Luca had 76. So did Ja. A bunch of other players also up here as well. Blowing Michael Jordan's 63 record completely out of the water. Trey Young made 50, 15 threes in the playoff game. And actually, RJ and Shea tied that. Mitchell Robinson had 60 rebounds in the playoff game. Look at the Clippers records. Bull Bull had all top five slots in points. But now for the NBA records, Ja Morant finishes number one with 62,609 points, followed by Trey Young, Luka Doncic, Devin Booker, and LeBron James. RJ Barrett is seventh. Colin Sexton is eighth. Bull Bull is 12th, more than Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons. And even D. Schrode is 26. All of this inflation even led to Michael Jordan being 47. Tobias Harris had more points than Michael Jordan. Ja far and away had the most field goals. Most threes went to Trey. For comparison, Ray Allen is now 65th in threes, and in real life, he's number one. In this broken down league, the man had Malik Monk make like three times as many threes as him, and RJ really was a shooter. It was seven or no, eight players that had more rebounds than Wilt Chamberlain. Jared Allen, Zion, Marvin Bagley, Aiton, Mo Bamba, Mitchell Robinson, Jackson Hayes, and Bam Adebayo. That I have never seen before. Nothing even close to that. Assist goes to Lonzo Ball now, but he's just a cheat code. Honestly, people weren't even passing like that in this league. Like, you know what I mean? Jaws up here, De'Aaron, whatever, whatever. Miles Turner fell less than 100 short of Hakeem. That is pretty crazy that nobody beat that. I guess people were just chucking shots and missing for the most part. Matt Thomas had the highest three-point percentage ever with 48. Maurice Barrett had the highest rebounds average ever with 28. And Colton Thorne is up here at five. John Moran averaged 38 a game. So uh, there is four players now that average more than Michael Jordan. Ja, Trey, Luca, and D-Book. Jackson Hayes and RJ Barrett played the most games ever. RJ had the most fouls. Ja had the most 40 point. Oh my God. Normally I see like in regular leagues, Luca will beat out the 40 point games by like, you know, I mean, he'll get like 240. But in this league, Michael Jordan has the record in real life with 173. There are 18 players that beat him. And I even saw Cam Reddish is one of them. Ja had 720. For 50 point games, I believe it's also Michael Jordan, at least in 2K. You know, that's how they program it. And there's 19 players that beat him. Ja, once again, number one. Luca, 288 triple doubles. Makes sense. Yoke is right up here as well. And uh, yeah. And if you want to take a look at the season records, we already know that these are uh, insane. Luca had 4.6K points in a season. Trey had 662 threes made. Maurice Barrett had 3,160 re Wait, I've never seen any. I have never seen Will and Bill Russell not be occupying this entire rebounds list and uh now we have literally they're just gone they're gone lonzo had the most assist ever in a season my god the man is good at passing we had three players that averaged more points in a season than will trey young job ja morant and luka Doncic with almost 60 a game i mean and when it comes to the league history uh yeah i mean marvin bagley got a couple mvps pretty normal stuff though for the most part aside from the numbers that came with it you know like trey young bodied it really went crazy after 2026 for the most part when trey young started averaging 40 every single season and ja Ben Simmons followed suit. Ja once again. Marvin Bagley. Kobe White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rookie years. Who the hell cares? But shout out to Rock Drogic, though. You were always somehow on top. DPO wise, we didn't even have to play defense in the league. Who the hell cares? And of course, out of this entire run, the Miami Heat had six championships in eight years from 2031 to 2039. Led by Bam, Alexander Walker, Jason Tatum, and Rui. There was no stopping them for a minute. But like I anticipated, uh, yeah, they were the super team that definitely took advantage of this whole uh, broken down NBA thing. The Lakers weren't too shabby either. Our team. So, as we'll just sit here on a picture of Joel Fisher, that is officially going to do it. I would assume this video would... I don't... I honestly... I have no clue. This might be the weirdest video I've ever made. Nonetheless, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. Emphasis on the whole subscribe thing because, you know, I mean, if you're still around here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, then you might as well. It's not really... Yeah, what the hell? And again, I can't control you. You decide what you decide. Let me know what you want to see next. Links will be in the description all my social medias, my Twitch, my second channel, my merch and i'm out of here Cut.